Hello, Assalamu Alaikum, guys. Uh, this is my another video on, on a basic guide for Clover Configurator UEFI. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to mount your EFI or UEFI system and how to back up your EFI or UEFI in case you got in a problem. For example, if you're trying to optimize your system and by chance you selected something wrong or you selected something you think was right but it caused the system from booting up or you got an ACP, ACPI platform error or the drivers are not found. So this is how to back up your EF, EFI partition system. It's not like backing up it, you have to back up the files on an other USB so in case of any problem you can just plug in the USB and just get back to your system. And I will also talk about what caused the sudden shutdowns of Hackintosh. Uh, usually under loads or even in in some cases in ideal state normal states and uh, sometimes it is based on clover settings or sometimes it's kex related or sometimes it's permission based and sometimes when you plug in your usb the system shutdowns that's uh, really annoying and uh, it is basically some of the clever settings and sometimes it is based on the USB kex we use for USB 3.0 so let's start now first I will show you how to mount your EFI partition we go to here so let me take this thing up right we go to we open the clever and check if you're using the latest clever if you're using an L capital like I'm using or if you're using Yosima, you should not use the one that is designed for Mavericks. So let's do it. You go to mount EFI. You have to check partition. You check the drive on which your OS is. So here it is on disk 0 OS X. Press mount. We uh, It asks for this. We press OK. And it mounts. All right. Sometimes it asks for password, it mostly asks for the password, I don't think why it doesn't ask me. So here it is, you can see the partition came here, EFI. So what you have to do, you have to open it. You have to just copy whole of this and you have to paste it here. Once you paste it, here you got your EFI. So now what you have to do is uh, you can check it like here you can go to EFI now you can do any of the changes you want to do for example if you want to add this or this or you can just want to check something new which can help you optimize I will tell you how to optimize your system as well but in the next tutorial so right now I, I just show you which of the kicks and which of the boot arguments I'm using uh, I think it will clear it up if you are using a mobile phone so here you go I'm not using such things uh, that's really simple for my system it works really well because I'm using a Haswell right now and it caused no such problems a friend of mine asked for x99 chipset for a decent config so I will do that again as well so once you did that uh, in this thing I will tell you how to basically back up your EFI partition so here is your EFI that came from here and this one is on which your system boots up so once you have this here now what you have to do is you have to eject this one and you have to mount the one on your drive you just check again and here you can see I have a drive here and Apple and you can see it's disk 3 EFI partition and note if you're using a just random USB to backup what what you have to do is to make it bootable you have to format that partition oh damn what you have to do is you have to format that partition to GUID guide file system right here you can see I have a L Capitan installer and you can see it's on uh, where it's written 
it's written on OS X extended system and it's on what the hell? it's on GUID system I don't know why it's not showing it I think I will do array then it will show security systems all right you have to format it on a GUID system uh, basically this is the new Dix utility and really hard to find things in it I'm not used to it right now so it's so you have to uh, format it on U e, uh, GUID and on, on Max OXX extended all right once you did that on EFI then you have to uh, what you have to do is you have to open your Clover installer, not this Clover configurator, but you have to install. Uh, open the Clover installer. You go to uh, let me find one. I have. Uh, yeah, right now look at this. It's Clover V 2.3K. It's 3292. You just open it. You continue, continue, and where here you click back. All right, all right, all right. You go to standard install, you change the installation drive. In here, you have to select your drive on which you want to back up, like El Capitan installer. You continue, you customize it, you select install UEFI boot only, install Clever ESF, you install the drivers. You don't really do need to do this because you're just gonna back up your EFI. Now, you just click install. I already have installed it so I'm not going to install it again just when you install it you close this and then you move to clever configurator and then you will find an EFI system here in your clever check partition once you check it you mount the uh, my one is the fourth one you click it and you can see it's uh, in a different icon it's in like yellow icon now what you have to do is you have to open it and you have to just paste it here. This will back up your EFI on that USB and that EFI will be bootable. You When you will plug in your USB if, in case you got an error on your default EFI, you plug in your EFI, you, you, uh, you plug in your USB and you will boot like a normal like if you have selected your default partition or you have you just plug the USB in and it will act as your original USB drive yeah UEFI partition once you've done that now now uh, now I talk about what can cause your system to shut down on the load or without under load you go to boot settings first you have to mount your EFI partitions right now let me eject this one now mount your basic partition once you've done that you open its config now here most of the acpi error that comes in the system is that uh, people used to click on fix hd and fix lan this can cause these both can cause the drivers not found acpi platform error this can cause that and on new way if you click this new way all of these will not be applicable I think this will work these fixes will work now if you're having some problem uh, like if you plug in your USB and the system shut down you can just go to devices and just remove this inject add clock many of the people are using inject add clock ID and fix ownership if your system is working all right without these three do not use them this can cause the system to shut down without any reason just plugging in the USB or plugging out the USB can cause this so and if you're having like uh, something written like here 0x0 just remove them uh, these fake IDs won't do anything good for your system but they might cause some error now going to the boot section if you're having sudden shutdowns or sudden boots or your system is your system gets shut down try to boot without this npi npci is equal to 0x2000 sometimes this is uh, when you install it using unibased or narish yosemite zone uh, they add this by default but it is not 
that important you can just try to remove it but be sure to back this back up the system back up the EFR file before changing any of this any of these options do back up your EFI partition once you did that you can just click here you can check if the system boots up without this just then ignore it you can do this by all all of these settings you can do that and then you go to AC API generate P state and generate C state is enough if you are sure that enable C2 C4 C6 or C7 is supported by your CPU then turn on any of it if you're not sure then just generate P state is enough and uh, I think uh, you can use fixed USB for your sudden shutdowns and fix shutdown and fix IP IC plus please try them once one by one don't like do all of them by sudden you won't understand it, which one is causing error if you got any error all right now what's left I think I have covered <laughs> it was on a this video was on a demand of someone so yeah I have discussed on these things if you still got any error or if your system is not uh, working well under load do comment on my video on YouTube and on Facebook I will try my best to cover that in the next video hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching I'm gonna talk to you in the next video